okay so we'll go with the second lab program uh, where it it is telling design a class called as staff with these many data members staff id name and phone salary then we have to extend this class and create three subclasses so three subclasses are teaching technical and contract so each class has its own data members okay so then we have to write a program to display means we have to take the input three staffs for each object means each object means for this staff three teaching three technical this so three into four twelve so twelve inputs you have to give now uh, I have just created a package where I have stored this lab com.bjmit.lab and I have imported a scanner utility to take the input the class then I have made it a class if you see my program it is a test stuff means I have stored as a test stuff why because all these classes are designing purpose but a test stuff is a class where I will run my program so we are going to see how uh, we will do so I have created a class staff and uh, uh, these are the data members so one is ID name phone number and salary so ID is integer I have made so you can make it as a string it depends on the input you are giving so here I have made it as int then name as string then phone as long salary as float so you can make phone number as integer but sometimes the phone numbers range might go out of that integer range so you might get error so to overcome that we have used I have used long you can try it with int okay then I have used float you can go with double also no problem data type doesn't matter but what is the staff ID so he has given the data members name also how we have to give okay so that, that is how we have given so staff ID has given it the capital letter but we know we have to use only small letters for declaring our data members so these are the members or variables of my class which stores all these details then I have designed a read method and display method so what read so read it will read all the details of my stuff so a scanner class which we have to uh, imported from this package then I have created a scanner class object so which will help me to take the input so enter the name name is equals to sc dot next line because next line it is a string so next line is a method which will take input of your string so in the same way staff id sc is equals to next int then phone number next long and next float so all those methods which are available in my scanner class so you have just imported then second method what i have written is display so i have taken the input now i have to display all those information so why display so system.out.println staff id so i have made staff id then where it is stored is staff id is a variable then name name phone number then salary so for information i have read and for information i am displaying so that is my parent staff how we are uh, created that class so my class ends here so this class has ended here okay so now I have to create a teaching class so this program contains five classes four for your staff teaching technical and contract and one class for running your all those details so teaching extends stuff so inheritance concept so if you extend any of the class so you will inherit all its properties so what I have inherited I have inherited its read method display method as well as data members so you can ask me the question like sir it is a private how I can inherit so why because all these classes are stored in one class called as staff ID so that's why within a class it can be shared so private can be accessed but if it is outside no you cannot you cannot access means if you create another one class and try to access you cannot do so that's why so private or default it doesn't matter in this program
so now i have used domain and publication why because if you see the teaching class he stores only domain and publications okay so what about uh, the staff id name and phone number that is where the inheritance concepts comes so public void read super dot read that's it so super dot read it calls the read method of your parent class so in this case staff is my parent of teaching so it will call the method call is nothing but it will go and print whatever available in your read method so what is available it is available like enter the name staff id phone number and salary so with respect to teaching staff also he is also a staff but other than all those details he stores these extra details what are those domain and publications now there is again a scanner so scanner here is with respect to teaching class why because if you go to the staff the scanner is only with respect to that staff class means it is available in read method of that staff but in teaching again we are taking the input of domain and publication again if you take an input you need scanner so name of scanner is same as sc but don't confuse it is available it is a local for this read and that is available in your teaching okay then display so what you will display you will display all the information of staff that is super dot display along with that the information that is stored with respect to this class so i have made domain as a string and publication as integer so why domain domain it might be like c sharp or maybe database or maybe data mining whatever domain he might be working so i want to store the domain one because it is only a domain then publications publications can be anything like integer so two publication three four whatever so i will display all those so super dot display again information then with respect to your that class information same with your technical so technically we'll have only skills so skills that's why the skills are nothing but he might have n number of skills like c sharp java and python now i will just create a read so super dot read method and i'll just create it enter the number of skills separated by comma so here we need a one class sorry one variable called skills to store all these skills but since it is skills it is separated by comma so i have to take c sharp and store it as one skill then java as one skill and python as one skill so that's why we are separated by comma so split is a method of a string class because string we have used string class already available in java string class and it will split the words by comma because i have given comma as it's a split character okay you can give any character you want now so skills i am storing as array so it will store the informations what you have given now super dot display it will display all the information of your parents because i have read information super dot read all the information and i have read the skills then uh, i will just display only the skills because specific to this technical uh, class means stuff i have only taken input of skill everything is inherited so that's why super dot display then uh, string yes and skills uh, we have not used the default for because for each technical stuff what happened is i can give three inputs he might have three skills or somebody can have only two skills so that's why we have not used any for i equals zero i less than n so n in this case it is something like static if he has only like everyone should have three skills then i can use n but it is changing here so if it is changing you should go for extended for so what is the syntax data type variable name and array name since array is of type string so we are using string variable name array name so i'll just display system.out.println yes 
Okay, so we have used that array name skills and string. Yes, so I have to display only that variable. Yes, note down variable is displayed not your array because it will take each skill in that yes means C sharp it will take first skill in yes and it will display then second one Java it will display third one Python and it will display so this is how your extended Python uh, sorry extended for loop works okay so the third class oh sorry the last class is contract so contract he has how many contract period so it is like integer so I will read information read of your staff and again as usual we will only taking the input of your contract how many number of contracts he has uh, years so I'll display that information so here if you notice all the class they are only taking the input of input for only technical uh, their specific details like technical he has only skills contract he has a contract period then teaching has uh, his domain and publication and staff has all those things but all our staff teaching is also a teaching he's also a staff technical also staff contract also staff that's why he's extending a staff but we are not uh, uh, re reading all the details that's why we are calling the read method of your parent so that is what inheritance helps us not only reading we are also displaying the information from super dot display okay so we have designed all of our four classes now we have to test those class so that's why i have made this as public so always there has to be a tester class which will test your classes n number cla n number of classes might be there but there might be a one tester means that is one public which contains your main method so name of that tester class should be your name of program that's why we have written like this okay so i have just taken the scanner because again i will take the inputs how many uh, in this uh, class also the scanner again i have taken this is like local variable okay so uh, i have declared four uh, classes which we have created so staff and array so st teaching and technical and contract so declared an array to store all the staff details but I have not initialized it so I have just declared because to initialize I don't know how many staff details I want to initialize means if you go like this new uh, like staff if I give like this I don't know what to give here like 10 I cannot give 10 because it will always take 10 staff but I don't want 10 I have to give like uh, dynamic that's why before initializing what I will do is I will ask the user and I will initialize later so that's why there are four variables you have taken uh, the number of staffs so one variable it will go for the staff details and there is for uh, teaching and there is for technical and then there is for contract that's why n staff details and teaching uh, take any variable name but you should not get confused so st is a variable that's why nst number of staff details so i have made it like that then we will take a number of staffs so i'll just ask enter of enter the number of staff details then i will store it as nst now i will initialize this so st is a uh, array name to store the staff so st is equals to new staff that is number of staff nst so it is what if i enter three staffs i want to store so it will initialize my array with only three staff details so it will be continued same thing i will we will copy same thing but here enter of enter the number of teaching staff here teaching teaching staff i am taken it as ntc as a variable different variable and i will initialize with my teaching array so tc is a teaching array so i will initialize new teaching so please note down it is a square bracket so that's why we are using array so array is initialized with those many objects because uh, the staff details might be i can choose three uh, but teaching staff i can choose two uh, maybe technical staff only i can choose one so depending on that so array, array is initialized with 
all those uh, uh, variables okay so same with respect to your contract so those many objects we are initialized now i have to read each staff details and store the information for that i'll just uh, enter uh, like i make a heading enter nst like uh, number of staff details like three it will display like enter three staff details so enter three staff details so for now i know uh, how many uh, uh, staff details I am taking that's why I am going for default for for I plus zero I less than NST I plus plus because I know now how many staff details I am taking as input for that again uh, I'm just making a heading details of first staff are why I plus one because I started with zero it will be like first time if you take it will take zero details of zero staff that becomes a in uh, something uh, irrelevant so we will make it as i plus one that is first staff details so here this step is very important because we have initialized our array but not object object is not created so in this time we have created the object so what we can we have done is so we have actually created an a staff array initially then the moment you write this line of code that is st is equals to new staff for each index means st of i is nothing but st of zero then in that we have created the staff object new staff then data members are created then it is pointing to that staff okay so how many staffs if you create three so it will create a three objects three objects and they are, those are all pointing to that new so new is what so if you see this this is the parenthesis we have used okay so new stuff so that is what we have created in the previous uh, programs like person p is equals to new person so that is only one person i have created but if you remember we are using array so first you have to initialize the array then for each index i have to create the object so now i am creating this so this is something like array of objects okay then i will go for st of i dot read so st of i dot read is nothing but for first staff i am reading the information so st of zeroth then it will i plus plus st of one it will continue till the loop becomes fail so in the same way what we have written it is just a uh, changed to your teaching stuff it's something like uh, the repetitive code but only the variable is changed why nst is for your staff now teaching means i have used a variable to called ntc for teaching i have stored in this then again for loop if you see for i equals zero i less than n number of teaching staff then details of i plus one teaching staff then see here again i have created an object of teaching so how you have, you will create because i have used the array tc of i for staff you have used the staff array st then for teaching i have used tc so please uh, give the importance for the variables name what we have used then it will create again tc of i dot read so the read the moment you call it will go to which read method it will go to the tc means teaching class read method it will go to this read method but inside that read inside that read you will have super dot read so super dot read again it will go to staff and it will read all the information again it will come back and it will again ask you these details that that is how your program will continue so that is for your teaching then for your technical stuff so everything is same only the variables are changed now the last thing is how you can display so display i have just made this as a separator for your all the details of stuff so how we can make a separator why if you don't make separator it will be like clumsy everything is clumsy so we cannot get uh, where exactly the details of your staff teaching stuff so make it as something look differently we have made if you don't want to use you can uh, you can just neglect this it is not compulsory but it is like a 
if you don't want to use you can leave it but uh, looks uh, some good thing in your output now how can uh, display so this is the heading i want to display nst means if i give three means three staff details are it will make a heading like this and it will display again it is displaying again and again then we are using for for then i'll just make a heading again details of first staff are then i will display st of i display see these uh, printout statements are to make you convenient means output looks something uh, good so you can uh, catch what uh, the output is if you take this out that's not a error of a program if you take this system dot out the heading it is not a error it will display all the output but it will be like clumsy without heading everything is written so if you see your book your book has a heading so that what topic we are talking about if you don't give a heading all details is available but you have to find out that becomes a very clumsy thing that's why we are writing all these things then i have made a separator for teaching then same thing i have just copy it's like a same copy paste of the code but not variables for teaching again it is ntc then ntc then display the teaching information so details of teaching staff here it is a staff it is teaching staff that is that is the change in the print then again technical staff so technical staff i have stored it in nth variable then for i equals to zero, i equals to zero i less than nth then th okay so technical staff i have made it as the details of technical staff same with respect to your contract so nc is or a variable which has stored your contract then display so if you see the output now so it will ask enter the number of staff details one i have given two for teaching technical two one so it has asked me enter one staff details that's why nst i have stored it in the nst number of staffs details of first staff i plus one okay so i have given the inputs so details of these then i have given two because two is my teaching staff details so i have given two so it will ask me details of first teaching staff then everything so if you see uh, the teaching staff details are given as well as it has asked for domain name and publications why because in teaching class if you see the read method the read method of teaching it is having the domain name and this publications so that's why it is asking for that so second details of your teaching staff again it will ask all the details of staff because super dot read so super dot read has done these things but now again you are asking domain name and this so technical staff again super dot read but you have read of skills what you have written for that technical stuff so same for your contract stuff so if you see all the information is been added now we want to display so first of first staff details i am displaying displaying the staff details but i have given only one staff details of staff are staff id and this so if you see the teaching so see i have made that dots so it it is now bifurcating all the teaching staff technical and staff everything then uh, two teaching staff details so details of first teaching uh, teaching staffs then uh, what we have written is domain and this then details of this oh, i have made a error in this so teaching um, make a spelling mistake okay so no problem then uh, details of two teaching staffs this is what we have done okay then the uh, second last but one two technical staffs see here skills these are separated like skills c c++ and java then c sharp and python that is what the input i have given and this then the last one is contract so it has displayed all the uh, staff details and only the contract so that is end of your second lab program if you have any doubts please ask thank you